Boys, when we started the series, there was one main goal in mind, and that was to reach the Premier League and try and win the Premier League title and then challenge in the Champions League. Today, we take the next step towards that dream and we start our run in the Championship. Let's get it. What's happening, boys? Welcome back to another episode of the RDC World, aka the Dream Chasers career mode on FIFA 23. As you've just heard from the intro, today we're starting our championship run and the start of season three of the career mode. I appreciate everyone's support so far on this series. It's really made it so fun seeing all the engagement in the comments and the likes on the video. So please keep that support up through season three, and hopefully your support will lead us to winning back to back to back uh, league titles. Of course, we won the League Two title, then we won the League One title. Title, but something tells me the championship title is going to be even harder than those two i mean obviously but i feel like the championship is going to be a way bigger step up than it was from league two to league one if that makes sense i feel like the gap between league two and league one is a much different gap to league one and the championship and then the premier league is even further ahead but um yeah we're going to end the season today we obviously didn't finish um or complete the season uh, we still got three days left to advance and then we'll start season three officially there was a few things to go over first though um um, in the comments of the last few episodes, which I did just want to bring up, one of the first things was I asked just to leave a comment and let me know should we play this guy? Scrolling right down, you can see that Luka Modric is sat on our bench currently. Luka Modric, the Luka Modric, that's not a lookalike with the same name as him. Uh, the Luka Modric from, of course, Real Madrid, uh, ex Tottenham player too. He's 38 years old, be signed in front of free agents. I left a comment, or well, I didn't leave a comment. I said, I asked the question, should we use uh, Modric in our team? I felt like it was a bit like cheating almost picking up Modric from a free agent because he's such a good player and he, sh he wouldn't join a League One side in England, do you know what I mean? So, but I, I posed it to you guys, the, the crowd, the fans, and said, uh, should we play Modric? Jeremy said, play Modric, it'll be fun to see this kind of player. Um, and also we had another comment from Shabadoo saying, field player of the episode, I reckon play Modric. It could just be like when Edgar Davids played for Barnet, which is a good point. Uh, I actually completely forgot about that. Shout out to Edgar Davids um, with the, the sports glasses. What a guy. In Shabadoo's comment there, he also said, um, watching the series made me buy FIFA and create my own club. Mate, I am sorry that my series made you go out and buy FIFA because if you've ever raged at FIFA, I feel like it's my fault now. Uh, but hopefully you're enjoying the game anyway and enjoying your series. He left a comment saying, Zhao Quinn um, or Joaquim, I don't know how to, I never know how to pronounce that name. Um, R Diaz, R Days, R Days, I think it is. R Days, yeah. Um, I'm so dyslexic when it comes to A and I next to each other. Here he is, 25 years old. He said he was good in his career mode. We're going to scout him and see what rating he is for our career mode for next season. Um, a Uruguay striker. I can think of another Uruguay striker that I would like to get in this squad right now, but I definitely do not have the funds for that. Can you do some for me? Can you score past the next stops for me? 27, do your thing. 27, do your thing. Mohammed left a comment saying, try changing Hitoshi Ono to a left wing or right wing. Uh, le recommend left wing because you lack depth there. He has good pace and dribbling, uh, but 45 shooting as a false nine slash striker, he'll just be bad. So he'll probably get at least 55 rating as a winger. Uh, if we go across to our youth academy, we of course have Hitoshi Ono, this guy right here, 15 years old. Looking at his stats, he's got good pace and dribbling, and um, like the guy said, and decent passing, but not good shooting. So maybe he is more suited for a winger position. Let's see how long it'll take to convert him two weeks um to convert him i'm actually gonna make him a right winger um and that'll become more clear once we do get into the new season we're gonna convert him all of these loan players here pretty much we're gonna send out on loan for season two um so yeah that's that's the plan for those guys there but of course we'll get to that once we do get to season two i mean season three sorry alpha left a comment saying scout job bellingham and at first i thought he spelled jude wrong but no apparently jude bellingham has a brother called job um so yeah like if he's anything like his brother i'm sure he'll be fire so let's just add him to the shortlist um i guess he's not coming up there if we put job and he's not on on the game i don't know if um if this guy was joking with that comment but <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't appear to be a joe bellingham in the game but i guess <laughs> i guess yeah um, i don't know bro <laughs> if he's retired i don't know the final comment i wanted to go over from the last uh, few episodes was this comment from chris he said do a section in the next episode to arrange who to sell from your squad you need funds lined up for cole palmer don't you feel player of the episode for, sh for sure and do you have anyone on training now once we get to season uh, three and start the new season i will show you the training plans that all the players are on um and yeah as that was a few episodes ago he left that comment and of course we didn't have the funds lined up for cole palmer so we're gonna lose palmer he's actually injured for the first six months um of this season anyway 
So, Palmer, we might re-sign him, hopefully, but then he'll be injured regardless. That's why I made Ono um, a right winger, because as you can see, we don't really have much cover there. Can Tommy Bailey play right wing? I guess, yeah, he can in his positions, actually. He can play fucking anywhere, this guy. Uh, but yeah, so we didn't have the funds lined up for Palmer. And once we get to the championship, I will go through the squad, tell you who I'm looking to sell um, and positions I'm looking to buy. Then you can leave more comments, um, especially once we see the new budget as well, once we get to the championship. Um, and you can see uh, like who I'm looking to sign, basically, from my own uh, point of view and then of course you can leave your own suggestions um, but hopefully we actually make it to the next season because we've got to do our um, review whatever it's called you know uh, they've got to do a performance review there you go the board wishes to inform you that your position at the club is currently under close observation because uh, our confidence rating was like 50 so imagine they just turn around and say oh yeah we're not going to um not going to keep you on, mate. You're getting sacked and we don't even make it to the championship. But there's how we did this season. Pre-season tournaments, we went out in the group stage. Papa John's Trophy, we went out in the semi-finals. Carabao Cup, we went out round four. Emirates FA Cup, when I was in round two. And we won the title in the league. So surely um, they can't be too mad with us. But let's end the season and hopefully make it to the championship. Season review, it probably won't come as a surprise that we're not entirely satisfied with the team's results. We won the league, bro. We have failed to achieve a number of our objectives. Falling short of what we uh, expected to accomplish both on and off the pitch. We were hoping for a clearer commitment as well as better results from you. However, we aren't minded to rush into a decision on your future and feel you deserve another season to work towards what we all hope you can achieve as manager of RDC World. Yo, boys, hey, I can't lie. At the start of that email, I thought they were going to say, hey, you're getting sacked, bro. But um, that's what we love to see. <laughs> yeah, we're getting uh, another season at the club. Hopefully we can do well in the championship because if we bottle the championship, we might get sacked. And I don't want that. I want to get to the Premier League with this club. We've built so much uh, so far over the first two seasons. So let's get into season three. Pre-season tournament, it doesn't really matter anyway. We're going to uh, simulate the whole pre-season tournament. So we're just going to choose the, the most prize money. Hopefully uh, we can get out of the group stage for once. But we need to customize our club, make new, uh, what's it called, kits. So let's get to it. It's going to be sad to say goodbye to the kits of, of this season because I really did like them. That away kit is gorgeous, bro. That away kit is really gorgeous. We might have to keep it, you know. I can't lie. Before I reveal the actual kits that we're going to use for this season, somebody left a comment, and I'm really sorry I can't find it, but they said to make the kit name and number um, in gold, because of course on our badge we have those uh, wings that have um, that are of course in yellow, so it'll match that. If we go across here to our badge, as you can see the wings at the top, um, and I thought that was a really cool idea. So for our name and number for this season, we're going to have in yellow to match the wings of the badge. Really sorry to that guy's comments. I've, I've literally just spent five minutes trying to find it. Could not find the comments anyway, um, but I really like that idea so we're going to implement that for this season we all know how much i loved that away kit last season the white with the purple stripes on so for this season's home kit we've done a remix of it and we flipped the colors here is this season's home kit let me know what you think in the comments below we've got the stripes going on the same pattern just flipped so we've got purple as the main color with white stripes going down and of course that yellow number on the back i think we look suave and ready for business if i'm honest if i came up against a team wearing that i'd think yeah these are, are a team that we need to take seriously the away kit was a difficult one. I wanted to keep it the same sponsor. So I think it was the same guy who said about the uh, the kit numbers. He said, make it the same sponsor so it's more realistic. So we've got Adidas doing all three kits for us this season. Um, and this kit reminds me of Germany's old kit, the national team. It's like the same pattern on the front. Um, we probably won't see much of this kit in the season, if I'm honest, because I don't really like it. But we needed something to, to fill that white kit slot. Um, and as for the third kit, we have a very nice looking pattern. Um, Adidas, again, you can see the three stripes on the shorts and the shoulder there. I'm actually a big fan of this kit um, right here as the third kit so that's our three kits for the season hopefully you enjoy them i'm keeping the goalkeeper kit as it is because you can't do much over there but this is the new look for the dream chasers getting into the championship uh, and let me know what you think in the comments below like i say are we ready for business we need to upgrade our stadium now getting to the championship a lot more money coming in we can develop that stadium we only have 10k capacity i'm looking to double that for the championship at least we are going to move into the Arena Doro, uh, and yeah, that is going to be our new stadium, 20k in the attendance. Hopefully all the fans can make their way to uh, the, the stadium for this season, and uh, bro, I can't wait to get into this. Let's advance, keeping the crest as it is, of course, that'll never get changed. Heavens Arena, new kits, same badge, let's get it. I thought there was going to be a, a cutscene or something for some reason, but yeah, let's jump into it. So, that guy left a comment saying um, what to, to have a section where we like look at who we need to get rid of. Cole Palmer's still here. Wait, what? Why is he still here? I thought he would have went back to Man City by now. Um, okay, let, let me go to the office a sec and check out the finances. We have nine mil. That's it. That's it, bro. 
9 mil as our budget and 174k in the weekly wage. 9 mil is way less than I expected, bro. That is way, way less. So, bear with me a sec. We are in the new season. Cole Palmer is still here. On loan at Dream Chasers Financial. He goes back in zero months. Oh my god, have we cheesed it? Settle by option. 3 mil. 3.1 mil. You have agreed terms with Man City. We can Come on, boys. I don't know if that's meant to happen or what. But um, we are settling that loan to buy off with Cole Palmer. You know how good for it is, um, he was last season. He wants important first team. 61k as his wage. Bro, I'm not giving him that. I cannot give him that. I'm sorry, bro. Five-year contract. Take that. No release clause. But you are not getting 61k. I am sorry, bro. He might walk out here. I I'm going to half it. Is that too cheeky? I don't even know, bro. 25. We're in the championship, G. I can't. Is that way too low? He wants 38k. A big signing bonus and a big appearance bonus. Yo, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Um, The signing bonus I'm taking off him. Bro, I just can't afford this. I'll give him the appearance bonus. In fact, that's a lot, bro. Remove bonus. Um, Signing bonus, he can have 300k. I guess. And as for the wage, let's bring that down to 30. No, yeah, I gave 25, didn't I? 30. Is that doable? For what? He wants more money now? Bro, come on. Come on, play the game, bro. Play the game. Let's go Let's go 32 and a half with a bigger uh, signing bonus. Come on. And he wants 42k. Cole Palmer, the tension's building up. Do we just accept this? It's more money than he, he wanted originally. Ah, oh, bro, I'm going to pull the trigger because I just really want him in the club. That might be a bad deal. That's an L. Let me know in the comments. Is that an L? But you know how good Cole Palmer was? And we've just signed an injured player. He's injured for six months anyway. What am I doing? Why have I just done that? That's so much money to spend on his wages. But, oh, well, bro. He's he's our star guy for this season, or he will be. Um, yeah, he's joined the team, available for training, and we can use him in the next match. Uh, he's only at the club since. He's lost all his potential as well. Are you kidding me? That's something I wanted to see, the potential of people. So, Guter uh, Gabriel Guterres, who's going to be our subkeeper, is showing great potential. Toby Brown showing great potential. Canales at the club. And Bamba's still not gone back yet. Ed Roberts has actually shown great potential. That might be a, an option for us in the fullback position. Mina's showing great. I feel like the season's not properly started yet. Luka Modric is retiring at the end of the season. Okay, so at least we can get his regen once we get to the Prem. Hashimoto still has potential to be special. I feel like we just need to advance a day here because everything's messed up right now. Let's advance a day into the month and see if everything updates because I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I can't believe I've just gave that much wage to, to my man. But yeah, here we go. We've got a few emails. Transfer budget's increased to 9 mil. Oh yeah, well, well done, bro. That's not a lot. That's not a lot at all. So back to the squad hub. I want to check out the strikers here. Talbot, yeah, we're going to put him back on the loan list. Reggie Fields only at... I mean, Ricky J. Jones is only at the club since as well. Um, Edson Duarte, exciting prospect. There's actually some backup for the right wing spot if we need it. Exciting prospect there, but we might need to loan him out. Tommy Bailey's shown great potential. I swear he was exciting prospect at the end of last season. Matter has lost his potential. So is Warren. Morgan Lee still showing great. Yeah, has potential to be special though. Hashimoto is the only man who's kept his potential from last season. Um, I hate potential on this game. I just hate the way it works. Why is it not just normal, bro? Why can it not just be normal? So, boys, I did want to go through and say who I was looking to replace and, and whatnot. Um, but looking at the squad and the money that we've got, I don't even know what to say right now. Um, the keeper, we're fine for now because King is so good. Defence... I think we're sound for the centre-backs. We've got two great centre-backs here and backups on the bench. Full-backs, we've got Brown and, and Mina. We don't really have much other options at full-back. This Ed Roberts guy, though, that we've got from the Youth Academy, he could come in handy um, as a possible option there. Naylor, we might look at a defensive midfielder. That might be the position that we need because Hashimoto's staying in this squad. The forward line is sweet, apart from maybe a striker. We'll see how Field and Jones get going in the championship here. But I think the rest of the squad, we've got a lot of depth in, in other positions and we don't really need to sign many players. But there is one big position I was looking at, and that is um, Harvey Elliott. Right here, not Harvey Elliott, Morgan Elliott. He's 30 years old now. He's been so good for us the first two seasons. That first season is a season like I've never seen before. Golden Booth, most assists in the league as well. Sensational. Second season, he got the most assists in the league again. But he's maxed out his potential at 76. And he's 30 years old, so we're going to start losing value on him soon-ish. And there was a, a risky deal that I wanted to try and make. 
but I don't know if it will work. Now let's go to the squad hub or the transfer hub, I should say, and find out. There is also actually Hans Axelsen, who we were looking to sign, but he's fit now 15 million and we can't even sign him. We might be able to get him on a loan to buy, I guess, but I can't believe we got so little money. Let me know, did you get more money if you got to the championship in your career modes, if you're doing the same thing as me? Um, we've got Buffon willing to, uh, he's about to retire at the end of the season. Now that's good to see. Uh, Ronaldo retiring at the end of the season. Wow, okay, so next, Messi's a free agent. Bro, hey, nah, hey, boys, 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 chill, 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 chill. Lionel Messi, free agent, 37 years old, 86 overall still. He only wants between 25 and 40k in his wage. Do we sign Messi? Do we sign Messi in the championship? Is that cheating? Is that cheating? Do we sign Messi? Boys, let me know in the comments. Do we sign Messi? I don't know. I feel like that's cheating, bro. I don't know. Do we sign Messi? And then next season, when we get to the Prem, we can get Ronaldo's regen. Oh my God. Should we get Messi and Ronaldo? I don't know. Hey, let me know in the comments. I feel like I'm cheating, but Aubameyang's a free agent too, but he's only 80 rated at the minute. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, boys, because I don't want to make that decision myself. I really, I want, I want to put it on you, because if you say sign him, I'll sign him, and then I won't feel bad about it because you've told me to. You know what I mean? So yeah, Manuel Neuer has a release clause of four million. What is going on? Hey, do we get Neuer? Should we go and get Neuer as a keeper for for four mil? I don't know, that's crazy. Let me know in the comments. That's another option. Should we say I know Tony King is a beast, but Manuel Neuer, 88 rated. 4 million release clause. That means we can just sign him directly. That's crazy, bro. Let me know in the comments, people. Do we get Messi? Do we get Neuer? What what should we do? Because I'm confused. Livermento is like they want 33 million. That's crazy. Like all these players that I added, like Livermento, things like that. I I thought they'd be way cheaper, or like well not way cheaper, but I thought we'd be able to actually afford somebody. Scalvini, they want 12 mil for. That's a good sign if we could pick him up. But we don't even have 12 mil. We've only got, what, three now? But anyway, let's get to the signing that I wanted to, to consider. And we'll see if the club's even up for it. Harvey Elliott, 21 years old. Cam, centre mid, right wing. Basically, the player that Morgan Elliott is. But they want 48 million for him. So, we are going to approach to buy, even though we've got no money. Um, five mil, we've got an 100k. Player swap. Midfielders. Morgan Elliott's only worth 7 mil in the market. That's crazy. Let's give Morgan Elliott plus 5 million pounds. I'm going all out here because I really want Harvey Elliott in the club. Oh, yeah. We just, he just completely shut the door on that. Okay, so that's an L. Bro, I really wanted Harvey Elliott in the championship, but it looks like um, if we want Harvey Elliott, we're going to have to wait till the Prem. That is sad. One player I did want to consider though was Romeo Lavia as a defensive midfield option. We're going to approach to buy him. Um, and hope he's they want three mil for him, but I'm hoping we just have a player here that we can just swap. Harvey Cook's been an absolute beast for the club, but if we do sign Lavia, there won't be any use for him. He's only worth 700k. So we're going to offer um, Cook plus one mil. That's a cheeky offer, but let's see if they come back. They want Ed Roberts plus one mil. That's getting counted. I'm actually going to offer them Ikemoto Matsuda. That's a weird transfer that I'm giving them right now. I'm going to give them Matsuda plus no money and remove the sell-on clause. And they don't want that. They want 2.8 mil. What is going on? Uh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling this episode, people. I've not even got to a game yet. I want to get the first game of the championship. I promise we will have it. But I'm struggling, bro, for transfers. You know what? I'm ending negotiations. I'm, I'm going to walk out. I need to clear my head right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm all over the place today. I really am. That transfer budget has really threw me. Um, I, I really just don't know what to do with myself right now because I can't sign any of the players that I wanted to sign for this season. So, yeah, I really don't know where to go from here. I'll be real. Flavio Nazzino is a free agent. He's a great player. We, we might just sign him. But then I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking, I'm signing all these players or looking to sign them all. Where are they going to play? This is our main squad here. We've just dropped a bomb on Cole Palmer, who doesn't even have any potential anymore. Reggie Field and Ricky J. Jones were going to rotate through the season. But then I wanted Hans Axelsson. We can't even afford him. We could try and loan him in, I guess. But then one of these strikers has to go. I suppose, yeah, people, I know what you're going to say in the comments. I've just realized it. I'm moaning about not having money. So let's sell some players. Good idea. Cole Palmer is injured for four months. Do we sign Messi as his backup? <laughs> play Messi at right wing while he's out? We do need a right winger. Or we're going to play Edson Duarte, I guess, while um, while he's out. But that's so oh, that's so crazy. I can't believe he's got injured like that. Oh, boys. I'm, boys, I'm so, like, 
I don't even know what to say right now. This episode has been all over the place, just like the inside of my head right now. I'm looking at players and I'm like, should we sell Bradley Nicholas? 75 overall, he'll get us some good money in. As a backup, we can just play Fabrizio Cabrera in the starting 11. But then I'm thinking, Nicholas, club hero, legend, been with us from the start, can play centre-back, left-back, right-back. If Toby Brown gets injured, he can play there. Do we sign that free agent left wing-back to cover for Toby Brown? Because Theo Drake's not a good option. But then we can just play Nicholas at left-back and bring one of the centre-backs in. Because we've got Carrillo there now as well. Like, oh, boys, I'm so lost and confused. I wish I could do this live and speak to you because I am so lost and confused right now. I don't even know where to go. Ed Roberts actually is our backup fullback. We don't need Nat Zinho. I need to stop signing players and just stick with the players that we've got. Ed Roberts can play left back and right back. Let's keep him as our backup fullback, which means Michael Davies. I'm sorry, mates. We have no use for transfer listed. It's time to be savage. It is time to be savage. Rob Boyle, you are going absolutely nowhere in life. Transfer list. Theo Drake. Trash transfer list. David Bell, in fact, he's only 21. Get him out on loan. Max Naylor, he's a solid player in that defensive mid role. Is it time to move on from Naylor? Should we get Romeo Lavia in from Southampton? He's two ratings lower, but a lot younger and has higher potential, or he will. He'll probably pass that 72 overall within this season easily. Do we get rid of Naylor? I don't know. Harvey Cook, it's time to go. I'm sorry. Hashimoto has to stay. What a player. In fact, we've got Modric to come into the midfield somewhere too. Ray Bajer. James Milner's obviously retiring, so is Modric. Rabiger, what do we do with Rabiger? I feel like we've got way too many players. Max Park can get out of here. I don't even know who you are. Matsuda, transfer list. Charlie Warren can stay. Morgan Lee can stay. I, my, boys, I, I'm all over the place. I can't lie, I'm all over the place. But if we check out our squad here, right, we have Luka Modric, who people said they wanted to see play. Edson Duarte, I'm going to give a run in the team instead of Palmer while he's out injured. Just to try and see what the youth lad can do. Ed Roberts Cabrera. What do we do with Rabiger? I don't even know what to do with him anymore. I are, oh, boys. Let me, help me out, please. Help me out. I'm just going to start advancing. And we can deal with things later. Transfer offer for Bradley Nicholas. It's only 4.4 million. That's a bit cheeky. I thought we'd get way more for Nicholas. I've just said, should we sell him on this season? Um... 4.4 million. In fact, our, even our assistant says that he's only worth 4.8. I'm going to reject it for now and wait till the next episode to see your comments because my head is completely gone. It's gone as... It really is. Transfer offer for Matt today. Only 2 mil. He's 18. He's got his whole life ahead of him. And you're giving me 2 mil. Or do we just keep hold of Matt today? I don't even know what to do. I'm advancing to the first game of the season so we can get some gameplay in this episode. Um, and then, yeah, like, help me out in the comments, innit? Hitoshi Ono, we can change his position now. He has turned into a right winger. Um, and let's see what that does. He's 52 rated at the minute. And it takes him to 55. So that guy's comments was perfectly spot on. When the next um, scout report comes through. In fact, we've not even sent our scouts out. I was going to get a third scout this season. But that's going to cost another 3 mil. And we've got 5 mil in the transfer budget. I don't know what to do, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm stressed. Current budget, 5.3 mil. Weekly budget, 100k. I am stressed. I thought we'd get way more money than this. It's okay. It's okay. We've got two scouts. Okay. We have two scouts. Leo, I'm going to send him to Japan. We're continuing Operation Blue Lock to find our key striker for the Premier League. Yeah, it's going to Japan again for an attacker. Leo, Rory couldn't bring us back the goods. Leo, I hope you can do uh, what we need you to do, mate. So, Rory Dean, what do we even need? Like, I genuinely don't even know what position we need. Set Maybe a set of DM. Centre back, I guess. I, I genuinely do not even know what I'm after. I'm thinking about sending the scouts back to England. Keep it more realistic. And just set it to any, just to see what he can find us. Yeah, you can see there, 3.4 million for another scout. And that's going to take all of our budget away. Do we go strictly Youth Academy and just try and find players from there? Or do we try and sell players? Because these players on transfer markets are so expensive. And more time, the players from the Youth Academy are going to be better anyway. I know the first game is in the group stage of the preseason tournament, but I don't want to advance too far ahead and complete the tournament and then get into the season. I wanted the first game of the episode to be in the league, but we're going to play the preseason game anyway, just so I can bring some gameplay to you. I am I really apologise for how bad this video has been. A, a debutant. No, are you kidding me? That's Morgan Lee. That's our homegrown talent that's been with us for two seasons. What the hell do you mean, debut? 
This is a crazy stadium, bro. What stadium is this? San Siro. What are we in San Siro for? Crazy. Um, Edson Duarte on the right winger. He's making a debut for us. Maybe that's who they meant to show instead of Morgan Lee. Got the wrong winger. Um, but yeah, man, let's just get into some gameplay. Hopefully, I can just think about things during this game and settle my head. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it really is all over the place, and I apologize for that. If this is your first time watching a Dream Chasers career mode video, I promise they're not all like this, and they're not all um, just trash and all over the place. Um, the gameplay is trash, though. <laughs> We're about to concede here. Oh, what a block, Nicholas. No, maybe we shouldn't sell him. What a block that is. But yeah, man. Um, I'm lost. I'm really lost, people. I can't lie. I wanted to record two episodes back-to-back -to -back today. That's what I normally do, by the way. If you didn't know that, I record two back-to-back. -back. So if you ever leave a comment and I don't include it in the next episode, it's probably in the episode after that because I do record two episodes back-to-back -back every time I do record. Here is Reggie Field. Has he got his shooting boots this season? No, he doesn't. I was about to say yes, he does. But he's put it wide. Oh, field. Field, field, field. I get it. It's preseason. He's got to shake off the rust. You know what I mean? He's probably been on holiday, had a few pizzas and a few burgers while he's been away. Um, but now it's time. It's game time. Field, yeah? Like, if you don't want to get sold, mate, it's, it's game time. So, uh, another thing I wanted to say is that I thought this season was going to be, like, just easy, in a sense. I thought we were going to come in, have, like, a good... Oh, what a tackle that is from Mina, our right back. Um, yeah, I thought we were going to come in and have like 20 mil or something. And we could give Harvey, uh, Morgan Elliott plus like 10 mil and get Harvey Elliott and then have our Harvey Elliott's boss in our midfield in the championship. Um, but obviously that was naive of me to think that. Um, here is Morgan Lee linking up with Hashimoto. Big save from the keeper. Um... But yeah, I thought we were going to have loads of money, just make the transfers that we needed. Sign Hans Axelsen as well, a.k.a. Ibra. Um, of course, that's Ibra's regen. I thought we were going to pick up Harvey Elliott and Ibra and then get into the season and get off to a good start in the championship. But no, I've been all over the place. I've not been able to get my words out. I can't even make a pass in game. Yeah, I apologise for the start of this season. Hopefully, it's not a sign of things to come in the championship because if this season is as chaotic as this episode's been, then it's going to be a long season, boys. Let me tell you that. Oh my god, it's going to be a long season anyway with passing like that. Go on, Nicholas. Oh, what is that? Oh, big save, King. Is field over the top. You've got Mina. Mina, can you find that ball inside? It's fell to Hashimoto. Oh, big save. Go on, Lee, on the rebound. Oh, big save again from the keeper. This guy is crazy. Dragowski, he's got a beard of dreams as well. Reminds me of my boy TBRH Kyle. Oh, boys. No way. What a save that is. But it's a great pass from Hashimoto. And it's field. Oh, referee pulling his shirt there. Morgan Elliott, can he play that ball through? Reggie Field, these two have linked up so many times in the past, and it's Field, it's a great goal. And that is the start we like to see, boys, to the season. Elliott with an assist, Field with the goal. Uh, Elliott, we were looking to replace you for this season, but it's looking like, at the minute, you're going to stick with us. I thought he'd be way more worth way more than 7 mil as well. I know he's old now, but 7 mil for a player of his quality is ridiculous. Only thing I'm concerned about is by the time we sign Harvey Elliott next season, he's got another season of growth under his belt. He's going to be like 90 rated and he's going to be worth like 100 mil. It is only pre-season, so I'm going to rotate the squad a lot um, just to give other players a chance in the team. Warren's going to come on for Elliot. We're going to bring on Luka Modric for Hashimoto. Uh, in fact, no, we're going to bring on Modric for Naylor in a DM role. I know that's a bit weird, but I feel like Modric can play there. Um, Tommy Bailey's going to come on. And who else should we give a go? Cabrera can get a run in for Canales. In fact, can, do, have we got another sub to bring on Jones? Yes, we do. Why not? Get some match sharpness in there for people. Here's Luka Modric first touching the ball. What can he do with it? This guy's going to feel so good regardless. I know his ratings dropped, but he started a counter-attack already. Here's Edson Duarte looking to make a name for himself. Back out to Modric. Out wide, bro. He just feels class like everything that you do with him because it's Luka Modric. You know what I mean? Warren. Again, Modric. Finding a ball through. Tashimoto, who gets the shot off. What a save again from the keeper. But Modric in that deep line playmaker role. That could be dangerous this season. Oh, what a ball from Modric. Ricky Jade on the touch, on the volley. There we go, boys. There we go. And that is why we play Luka Modric. You do not bench a player of his quality. He's gone down to 79 overall. But... He's still got it. That is a pinpoint pass. Great touch from uh, Ricky Jade and a great finish. Let's get it. Look at that. To find that space, it's a perfect thing. Great touch. Great control from Ricky Jade and a great finish. Oof, we won't show that in the highlights. 
30 minutes remaining. There's Duarte linking up with Rabiger. Rabiger, can he get that ball inside? Ricky Jade Jones, and he's off to a scoring start. Ricky Jade, he wants that number nine on his back this season. He wants to overtake field. And that poses another question. Do we give Ricky Jade the start, the first start of the season in the championship up front, or do we stick with field? We saw how much of a dog Reggie Field turned into at the end of last season. He really does have that dog in him, bro. And that is what I look for in players when I scout them. You know, I don't care about stats or height, weight, none of that. It's do they have that dog in them? And Reggie Field definitely does. Um, so it's, it's going to be a tough one to decide who starts for the first game of the season. Ray, with a nice ball over the top to Edson again. Looking to make a name for himself. It's into Ricky Jade Jones. He's let the ball run. Ricky Jade. Oh, he's just missed. He was on for the hat-trick in pre-season. That would have been a great start. But unfortunately, just wide. Full-time 3-0. The lads off to a great start in pre-season. Couldn't have gone much better than that. Liverpool have been approached by Mallorca for Curtis Jones for 30.9 million. Another player I wanted to get into the squad because, of course, the infamous RDC World meme, LO Reds, what a win that was then. But we can't sign Jones now. He's worth 39 million um, and we just do not do not have that money. Um, there's Elliot. Yeah, I mean, we were looking to move him on, but he's so good, isn't he? Let's be honest. I've asked a lot of questions in this episode, so I wanted to sort of like compile them together. Um, so like to, to get more, like a clear picture of what we have going on right now, really. So the questions that I want to, to pose to you, first of all, what should we do about Romeo Lavia? This guy right here, 20 years old, plays for Southampton, 70 overall. They want about 3 million for him. We could probably get him for less. Um, do we sign him and play him instead of Naylor in that start and DM role? Naylor's the, the experienced guy, though. He's been with us from the start and he knows uh, how to play that position. Do we bring in Lavia off the bench sometimes and then hopefully once his overall grows, we replace Naylor? What should we do about Lavia? Should we just spend the 3 million? Should we try and swap it? Should we swap Naylor? For Lavia, let me know that in the comments. Flavio Nazzinho, I feel like that would be a great pickup from the free agents. I feel like we might just do that anyway, even if we just loan him out or something, because that is a great player to be just sat in the free agents right now. Speaking of free agents, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is out in the free agents. Should we sign him for the season? In the championship, he's going to kill it. He'll score at least 20 goals this season if we sign Aubameyang. And speaking of other free agents, Lionel Messi. Let me know, boys. What should we do? Should we bring Messi to the Dream Chasers? Should we bring Messi to the Dream Chasers? Should we do it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Should we get Messi? Should we get Aubameyang? Should we get Lavia? Let me know what to do. Should we loan in Hans Axelsen, play him up front? Or do we stick with the two guys that we've got right now? Reggie Field, Ricky J. Jones. They've both lost the potential status in the squad hub, but Ricky Jade's still only 21, Reggie Field 27. What should we do with these two guys? Who starts the first game of the season in the championship? Right wing, we've got Edson Duarte. I was actually impressed with him in pre-season. Um, but obviously, the right wing spot is slacking now that my man's out injured, Cole Palmer. Was it a bad move to sign Cole Palmer? Um, I do not know. But I think that's all my questions um, for this season, getting into it. So hopefully, you can answer those in the comments below, and I will reply to them in the next episode. Like I say, one more apology for how messy this video was. It really didn't go to plan. I thought we were going to get everything that I wanted coming into it. Um, but, you know, sometimes life does not go to plan, and you've just got to roll with the punches and keep it moving. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the vibes. I'll catch us next time, people. Take it easy.